All right, so with gas prices climbing towards $5 a gallon, increasing domestic drilling right here in the United States is more important than ever. But oil production in one of the richest oil reserves in the country may now be in jeopardy, all because of a pesky little critter. Our own Ainsley Earhart has all of the details. The Permian Basin is located in West Texas in the adjoining area of southeastern New Mexico. This is oil country. Texas tea, the bread and butter for most people here, and 20% of America's oil comes from right here. But all that could change because of a lizard. It's a little three inch, brightly colored at times. It lives in these sand dune, shinnery oak, kind of shrubby grasslands. The Fish and Wildlife uh, Service is uh, proposing that these dune sagebrush lizards be designated as an endangered species. Uh, and that would be a catastrophic outcome for oil and gas exploration and production in this part of Texas. Believe it or not, this is a tree, the Shinnery Oak. About 90% of it is underground, and it's home to the sand dune lizard. Environmentalists in this area worry that the habitat here is being diminished because of the gas and oil production in the area. Oil and gas activity and uh, their associated roads and infrastructure, as well as ranching activities that convert habitat to grasslands, destroy the places where the animal can live, and it literally has nowhere else to go. The species has been uh, reduced. The habitat's been reduced at least 24%. Um, the habitat available to it has been reduced about 40%. Texas Congressman Mike Conaway feels that more studies need to be done before livelihoods are put at risk. None of us uh, want to do things intentionally to, uh, to cause the species to go extinct. Uh, but by the same token, we ought to be using good science to decide if there are gaps in the data, if there are flaws or errors in the analysis, if there are flaws in, in the methodology used to, to conduct the studies, they will know that. And I'm appealing to their personal integrity, to whatever addition of courage that moves their heart to stand in the breach on behalf of affected folks in West Texas. Steve Pruitt is president of Legacy Reserves Oil Company in Midland, Texas. Well, there's 130 rigs operating in the nine counties that are being considered for listing uh, as uh, endangered species areas. Each oil rig creates about 150 or supports 150 jobs. And if you multiply that over all of the 130 rigs in these nine counties, that's about 20,000 jobs. The numbers are staggering. 75% of the people in West Texas are affiliated with the oil industry. If these rigs are shut down, how is it going to affect your family? Well, I've been working in the oil field all my life, and it's the only job that I've ever had. So I have to find a different trade to work. Do you have kids? I have wife? four kids. Wow. I'm married. Wow. It'll also affect my wife because she's in the oil industry also. Really? So if we shut down these rigs, you and your wife are out of a job. You don't have any food for the four kids. Not just that, I have 20 guys that work for me. Okay. Them and all their families have been out of a job. But conservation groups argue the sagebrush lizard's habitat is so small that listing it won't impact drilling and that the lizard issue is being hyped for political reasons. Less than two years ago, the Fish and Wildlife Service went in and listed the Delta smelt in the San Joaquin Valley as endangered. If you watched closely, you would know that the Delta smelt listing as endangered put 27,000 farmers in the San Joaquin Valley out of work. It shut them down cold. The Center for Biological Diversity studied oil and gas activity in southeast New Mexico, and we found that uh, protecting the lizard's habitat affected less than 1% of all of the oil and gas lands, and efforts to protect it will not affect the oil and gas economy whatsoever. The lizards uh, don't have a problem with pump jacks. They have a problem with, with politicians who, who are um, deceiving the public. But workers in the area aren't buying it. They think the listing will destroy the fragile southeast Texas and northern New Mexico economies. The oil produced in the Permian Basin where we're standing is almost a million barrels a day. It's 20% of the domestic supplies of crude oil. And again, all of these wells are generating jobs and taxes and livelihoods of communities. We make our living in the oil and gas business. And the EPA is talking about putting the sagebrush lizard on the endangered species list, which will shut down a lot of the oil and gas 
projects here in West Texas. Today it's the lizard, tomorrow it will be a thistle, tomorrow the prairie chicken. So what we're doing is saying enough is enough. American jobs count for something. Recently, several rallies and public reviews with the Fish and Wildlife Service were held in Midland, Texas and Roswell, New Mexico, which gave politicians and residents the chance to voice their concerns. Based on research that I have seen, there is completely inadequate available data to the scientific community to make any kind of a rational decision about whether this species is endangered or not. These are the faces of the people we affected. These are the folks who will lose jobs with this habit. I don't know if this lizard is going to be listed or not, but if it is, there are permitting avenues out there that will allow private industry to continue to function while we can still recover the species. They say it won't impact oil industry at all, but it, it definitely will. If you can't go out into the field of work, it, you just, it just shuts everything down. The Fish and Wildlife Service have until December to make a decision on the listing of the dune sagebrush lizard. So until then, oil will still be pumping and the great lizard debate will still be raging. The lizards really don't have a problem with pump jacks and oil and gas development. It's a bigger political conflict here. If you do these mandates that's been done in the past, these are the folks who will lose their jobs. So I want these spaces to haunt you when you make these decisions over the next six months. And our own Ainsley Earhart joins us now. First of all, I, I can't even believe we're discussing <laughs> this. That, the little you know, lizard. Yeah, the, what, what do they call the sage The brush? sage brush lizard. It yeah. lives in like the dunes, what you would call the dunes in West Texas. Well, most of the people who live in West Texas in the Permian Basin, their livelihoods depend on oil production there. 75% of the people who live there, their jobs depend on the, on, on the oil rigs and yeah. the oil industry. So you take away all of that, most of the people there will be out of work, and many of the people who live on this property, or most of the, all of the people I talked to, said they've never seen one of these. They've never seen one of them. No. Yeah. So here, it's it's very, the entire economy is based on oil production That's in West right. Texas. That's right. You got and, a lizard that nobody's seen, mm -hmm. and now the government's going to put it on the endangered species mm -hmm. list. Yep. And what happens? What's so, the result? And all of my friends that I've told the story to have said, really, gas prices are already so high. Mm -hmm. So you take away this portion of America's oil production, and then we're even more dependent on foreign oil. It, but nobody saw a lizard. No one's seen a lizard. So, uh, uh, not the people I talked to. And at it's least. A, so they it's endangered. It's non existent. Well, it's not on the endangered species list yet. They want to get it on that list. Well, say, how could you be endangered if nobody's seen them? <laughs> I know. How do they even know they're there? That's the question. Let's build a habitat for the lizards. For, put, send the lizards to, well, let's right. make lizards stew if we do see them. Right. Well, everyone who lives in that area is saying, oh, listen, grief. we don't want this, this little lizard to be extinct. However, we have to think about putting food on the tables of our families. So. Lizard stew? Lizard stew. Do you want some of that? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good thing because they can't find the lizards to make it. Let's say the jobs of the people in West Texas. This is madness.